y'all, and welcome back to another Adventure Time with the Texas Mom. I'm Sonia, the Texas Mom, and with me as always, I have my Texas Tornadoes, Carter and Logan. And today we are headed to McKinney Falls State Park, which is about an hour and 15 minutes north, northeast of San Antonio. Um, I've made reservations a couple of times, but we've had to cancel because other things have had to come up. So we're looking forward to finally getting out there and seeing what they have to offer. It should be a hot day, so there is some water that we can cool down in. So we'll see how it goes. McKinney Falls is actually located in Southeast Austin and about an hour and 15 minutes outside of San Antonio. Kids are free to get in and ages 13 and up is only $6. There are plenty of restrooms available. However, due to the coronavirus and lack of supplies, many of them are closed according to the signs. There were several spots to have a picnic available in the park. Since this is an easy park to spend the entire day in, I would definitely suggest bringing lunch from home. Try to hike and find the prehistoric rock shelter that was advertised as a point of interest on the trail map, but we were disappointed to find that it was closed for a cultural restoration project. It was also a little difficult to navigate this trail and hard to access. You are definitely able only to get there on foot. I hope you're a fan of Daddy Long Legs because this trail was literally crawling with them. I must admit the hike to the falls made me a little nervous. The rock would just stop and drop off into the water. The boys wanted to run, so my anxiety was definitely heightened. It was so beautiful though, and the boys really enjoyed exploring this environment. The land the state park is located on used to belong to the McKinney family who settled here back in the 1840s. We hiked to see what was left of their homestead and the grist mill. I would suggest bringing lots of water because it was really hot and also you need to be prepared to cross through the section of the creek that heads to the lower falls in order to see this portion of the park. So be prepared to get a little wet. In the park, there are two sets of falls, the upper and the lower, that provide swimming access. There are no coolers or picnics allowed, and the hike to get to the lower falls is about a quarter of a mile, and it's hard to get to. It's definitely not for strollers. Once there, it is worth the journey. It is a mini paradise. There are plenty of trees at the lower falls that provide a lot of shade, but my pop-up tent was easy to carry and it provided a nice spot to sit down on. The water was so refreshing after the hike to get to the lower falls in the Texas heat. I recommend some kind of flotation device and it does get deep in parts, so if your kiddo's not a strong swimmer, do not forget their life jacket. kids like swimming in goggles, don't leave them at home. My kids love having them in the water. There are lots of fish to see. Not only were there plenty of fish in the water, there were also several turtles swimming with us. This might freak some people out. If 
you have a minnow net, I would definitely bring it. Your kids will have lots of fun because the water is full of life. We decided it was time to check out the upper falls. They have the same rules as the lower, but in my opinion, they were even harder to access and more crowded. The boys really liked jumping off the falls into the water. My favorite part about McKinney State Park is that I got to jump off this big thing, like sort of like a rock, like it's like tall and then splash in the water. My favorite part about McKinney Falls is that I got to jump off these like huge waterfalls and they were very huge, but the first water park that you see, water thing, it like, there's like this going, there's going to be like this big long, like there's going to be this big part that you're going and it's going to be short, but able for you to jump off. And it's shallow, like not that shallow, but it's enough for you to stand up after. And also, I got to jump off this one. It's a lot deeper here for this part. And this one at the front, 10 steps forward. If you're small, then you're going to probably go, have to be underwater if you're small for that. And also, it's very deep once you jump off. Well, we are finishing up our day at McKinney Falls State Park. It was super, super hot, but the watering hole they have here was so refreshing and amazing. Actually, the kids had a really good time. Probably noticed by Carter saying his favorite things about the park. It's probably the longest you've ever heard him speak on Adventure Time. So all in all, it was a great day and we will be back. We recommend it to all our friends with little ones that want to go down to the water. See y'all next time. Remember, don't mess. For Texas! Spend your time with the Texas mom. Like and subscribe.